Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I noticed in my previous videos in the comments a few of you had asked me for a makeup collection video and a room tour as well so I decided to film this one for you. I hope you enjoy it. And I just want to say that I don't like to keep too much makeup around simply because makeup does expire and it does go bad so instead of keeping tons of it, not using it and letting it spoil and tossing it at the end, I would much rather share it with my friends and family and just uh, make everyone happy. You know how girls are, whenever we get new makeup we get really excited. So um, I only keep stuff around that I use for my videos and pictures and just for my personal use. So whatever you guys gonna see in this video is what I actually use. Um, I live in Tanzania so it is very difficult for me to get any makeup around here. So I always make sure to stock up on um, any basic necessities like foundation, concealer, powders and so on. So whenever I travel I just buy enough stock of those or whenever my friends are traveling they always bring me stuff. So um, this is uh, to make sure that I never run out. Um, so this is my little room guys where I do my makeup. All the furniture that you see was designed by me and it was made in my backyard apart from the white table that you see now the sofa and the little zebra cabinet. Um, I didn't actually make the furniture myself, I had a carpenter do it for me. I just gave him the drawings and he just uh, made it exactly the same, um, just what I wanted. And this is another thing, uh, living in Tanzania, you know, you don't have these um, uh, stores that you can buy the uh, makeup vanities and whatever you guys uh, can get in the States or other places in the world, so um, you just have to be creative. So I'm going to begin with um, uh, my makeup drawers, so um, I'm going to show you everything that's inside. So these are all my pigments, you can see uh, there's different brands, there's Makeup Geek, uh, Mahia Mineral Makeup, there's some Max as well. I have some glitter here as well as um, some crystals when I want to do some more creative looks. And then second row I have some powders by Motives, they're just different shades and some concealers by Tarte as well as um, concealer quotes by Motives, also different shades. And here I have some blushes, this is by MAC and a couple more there by MAC. I also have some by Tarte, these are Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes. You can see I like them pinks and corals. And uh, here I have my favorite blush by Bobbi Brown, it's apricot shade. Then I've got some more Motives on the side. Here I have some cheek stains and I like using this during the day when I don't apply foundation I just wear tinted moisturizer for a more natural look and I've got some more blushes here by Sasha Cosmetics this one's my favorite shade, the peachy coral shade and here in this section I have my eyelash curler and I have some primers for the eyes, this one's by MAC Prep and Prime then I have eyelash glue, this one's by Shure Mura and the strongest glue ever by Beso. I've got some duo glue as well and here I have some creaseless eyeshadow primer by Tarte. I stock up on these because they're really good and moisturizing as well. Uh, here I've got uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and Benefits Highbrow. I've got more um, eyeshadow primers. This one's by Lime Crime and um, this one's by Urban Decay. Then I've got a lip balm by Vaseline and um, this is just a glitter glue. Another eyeshadow base, this one's by Sasha Cosmetics. And I have some pencil sharpeners and alcohol swabs to clean them here. Then on this side we have some powder and just a few bronzers. Here I have all my individual eyeshadows. Some are by MAC, we have Urban Decay here, that's my favorite, Blackout, another one by MAC, and just a few by Burberry, these are just my favorite shades. And then here we have some more Motives individual eyeshadows. In this drawer here we have some palettes. Uh, this one's by Motives, it's just the, the empty palette but then I just fill it up with um, some eyeshadows by MAC, some are by Makeup Geek. These are just crystals and some glitter here. 
a blush palette by Tarte. This one's called Off the Cuff. It came with a gorgeous cuff and it has some beautiful shades for contouring as well as pop of color. Then I have a little mirror here and my Makeup Forever Flash palette. Some individual eyeshadows by Motives that I put them in this magnetic palette by Tarte. And here I have the Z palette filled with Inglot eyeshadows. Contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills is my favorite thing to contour with. And her Brow Pro palette. This is perfect for any hair color. If you're blonde or brunette, you'll definitely get your shade in here. Then I've got some bright um, eyeshadows here by Makeup Geek and Morphe. Some are MAC as well. And the 252 Ultimate Palette by Coastal Sense. And if you guys um, can't afford to buy just a bunch of eyeshadows and you're on a budget, then this eyeshadow is perfect for you because it's very, very cheap and it has so many different shades so you can really get creative if you want the eyeshadow color to pop more and last longer then um, make sure you apply an eyeshadow base here I have a Morphe uh, palette that I filled up with some of their eyeshadows some of Makeup Geek and uh, MAC as well this is like my basic palette with all the matte and shimmery nudes and whites as well as soft browns here I have some more basic eyeshadows that I always use. I have dropped this eyeshadow so uh, eyeshadow palette so it's kind of beaten up. Here I have some cream shadows that I use as bases, some Maybelline tattoo, color tattoo. Then I have some Paint Pot in Paintly by MAC, Tarte, Bobbi Brown. This section here is very very important because it's all my eyebrow stuff. So I have some highlighting pencil by Anastasia and some Sigma ones as well. Brow gel, this one is my favorite. I like how the brush is so tiny that it grabs every hair on your brow. Anastasia clear brow gel is also one of my favorites. I have the tip brow here. I stock up on these because I don't want to run out. Um, Ebony is my shade. The dip brow lasts um, through sweat and water as well. You can go swimming, it just stays on your brow, so it's perfect. I have some brow stencils there in the back that I don't use. And this pencil I have bought way back. They are Max Spiked, it used to be my favorite just before the dip brow was invented. <laughs> so now I'm just hooked on the dip brow. Here I have some mascaras, that's my mascara section. I've got um, lots and lots of tart mascaras. I've got a couple of MAC ones. I like the MAC ones, they're really good. Ico, they're also one of my favorites. I love their mascaras and um, I also like the Dior show. I just find it super black and just makes my eyelashes really, really long. Some more mascaras, these are by Ico. This is the wardrobe mascara, it comes with uh, three different brushes, so it's like three different mascaras. You have the skinny brush mascara that I like to take with me when I travel and these are the new products I believe. Um, the cream shadows, the black magic mascara, I'm looking forward to using these. Here I have uh, contour sticks by Tarte and Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Concealers. These are so good guys, they really, um, my skin looks literally airbrushed. So um, I like using them for pictures, videos. And I like to use them on my clients as well, so I have the full color range. Here I have some liquid liners and some felt tip liners. Uh, some are by Ico, some are by Tarte, and this one's by Artist of Makeup. I like the brush, it's so fine and so smooth, so it's easy to apply. I've got some gel liners here by Tarte, Inglot, uh, some MAC, and Anastasia Beverly Hills, the new one, it's not out yet. Here I have some more palettes. These are some pigments by MAC. It was their um, holiday collection and I didn't want to take them out of the box because it looks so cute in there. So I just kept them in there. Uh, this is a palette by Tarte and um, there's another one, just different colors. They look the same on the outside, it's just that the inside shades are different. And here's a revealed palette by Coastal Sense. So if you're on a budget, you can't afford the 
Urban Decay Naked 1 and 2, then go for the Revealed. Here I have the Lavish palette. I had the honor to work on this palette for the insert. So you, if you get this palette, you will see my pictures on the insert of the palette. The little booklet that comes with it. That's by Anastasia. I love that palette. Here we have the Bobbi Brown palette. I just put together just a few shades that I love. And um, this is a Tarte palette. It has a blush shade inside, a highlight and bronzer as well as some eyeshadows. This is a contour and a blush duo by Tarte. This is a cute um, little duo eyeshadow palette by MAC. And I have some more Tarte uh, eyeshadow palettes. These have some gorgeous shades in there. So there's two of them. And this one is my just a random palette. I just depotted a few eyeshadows and I just put them in there. Uh, this one's by Lime Crime, some gorgeous pastels in there. Another Tarte palette. I love these shades and I also like how you can take them out and put them in this um, little um, sort of a palette holder or something. I don't know what you call this. So you can take them with you. Whichever one you choose, it comes. Each one of them comes with um, a blush shade and four eyeshadows. That was a Tarte palette there that I haven't used. I'm planning to make a video on that soon. This is a Catwalk palette by Anastasia. We have another Tarte palette. This one's called of the Wild. I use this for one of my uh, smoky eyeshadow looks. Um, blush, contour, and highlight palette by Nars. These are quads by Burberry couple of them. Then I've got some by Sasha Cosmetics. Tarte's Magnificent Palette. I love this one. Some beautiful matte eyeshadows in there. Sigma Palette. I've got another Tarte Palette here. And the Urban Decay Naked 1 and Naked 2. Next I'm going to show you the most important draw and this one has all my foundations, concealers, primers, bronzers, highlighters and tinted moisturizers. So I'm going to show you all of them. Uh, here I have a tinted moisturizer, this is a BB cream by Clinique, it's one of my favorites. And um, I've got Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, BB cream as well, that's also one of my favorites. And I've got some BB tinted uh, primers here by Tarte. Uh, they're perfect if you have large pores. Here I've got uh, MAC Face and Body Foundation. This one is really, really good for um, the evenings where I don't need SPF. So I stock up on that. I have two of them. I've got Amazonian Clay uh, Foundation by Tarte. And uh, this one is a primer by number 7. I've got two more primers by Tarte. And here I've got some... CC primers, artist of makeup, uh, contour stick. I've got two of these somewhere. Then I've got uh, MAC Fix Plus foundation. This one is really good, it covers pretty well. It's just that I don't like the fact that it's very, very yellow. A Bobbi Brown Skin is my favorite. Then I've got Makeup Forever High Definition foundation. I've got uh, Armani Luminous Silk. This one is my favorite got more of the Bobbi Brown. You can see I've been abusing this one. Then I have some more um, Tarte foundations. I've got two of these. One is medium and one is uh, light. Sometimes I mix the two shades. I've got a MAC Prep and Prime BB Cream. I've got Artist of Makeup foundations. Chanel uh, Bronzer. Limited Edition MAC Bronzers. Physicians Formula Bronzer, MAC Bronzer, I've been really using this one, almost ran out. I've got a Maracuja Bronzer Serum by Tarte, I haven't used this one yet. And um, Body Bronzer by Tarte. Then I've got a Makeup Forever Camouflage Palette. I've got some uh, Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealers and um, MAC Studio 
no that's MAC Pro Longwear Concealer these two are really my favorite well it's one but I should always stock up then I have the YSL a highlighter pen I ran out of that I need to restock here I've got Tarte's um, waterproof concealers and I've got a Sigma lip concealer this one's perfect when you want um, your lipstick to appear brighter or if you want a nude lip that's also really good here I have samples of the Armani um, primers Bobbi Brown concealer it's a creamy concealer on one side and like a yellow setting powder on the other I've got Ben Nye banana powder Tarte um, powder, blotting powder then I have MAC Prep and Prime setting powder MAC Studio Fix powder Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC I've got um, blot powder by MAC Tarte Airbrush Foundation, Mineral Foundation. Oh, that's um, a setting powder. That's the Mineral Foundation. And um, we've got some Bobbi Brown Skin Powder. This one is really good. It goes well with the Skin Liquid Foundation by Bobbi Brown. Here I have um, a Rihanna Collection Bronzer and um, Blush Duo Hibiscus Kiss. I have a Studio Fix Concealer, Superb Mineralize um, Skin Finish by MAC, this is a highlighter and I've got some bronzing highlighter by MAC, Iridescent Powder, it's Golden Bronze Benefit What's Up Highlighter, it's a creamy highlighter Smashbox Artificial Light Highlighter Estee Lauder Heat Wave number one. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. It's a gel like texture, it goes on really smooth. Then I've got Semi Precious Pearl by MAC. This one was limited edition, I believe. Then I've got some Soft and Gentle by MAC, another highlighter. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt another one of my favorites then I've got Silver Dusk Iridescent Powder I'm obsessed with highlighters guys I really love how they make my skin look so glowy and dewy another highlighter I think it's called Center of Attention moving back to my vanity now that is one of my favorite products for um, preventing and curing acne Neutrogena pads here I have a unique mascara it's a fiber mascara one side is um, the actual mascara and then you have the little fibers that extends your lashes I've got a Tarte eyelash curler here and um, in this jar here I have some sponges and the beauty blenders I've got some q-tips and cotton rounds and I store these in glass jars so they stay dust free and uh, sanitized I've got my mirror here and my little tweezers and scissors they come in really handy this is vitamin C serum by One Love Organics I absolutely love this product and I apply it always before applying my makeup so it keeps my skin moisturized and brightens the complexion here I've got all my shades for the airbrush kit by Dynair so foundations, blushes, lip shades, eyeshadows, eyeliner, brow shades, basically everything you need that's my cleaner and that's the machine I love using this kit they're all water based so they don't break you out so if you really need something that's waterproof and it's going to last you the whole day especially for brides because it doesn't have SPF so it photographs really really well you can also use this to cover tattoos and scars you know here is my drawer with all the hot tools 
that's my little tangle teaser. I've got my curling irons, flat irons, my hair dryer there as well. I still need to organize that. Cables are kind of all over the place, so I need to find a solution for that. In this drawer here, I have um, my makeup bags. So I just keep them all in here so it's easier to find. There's a lot more of them, but I just can't fit them all in one drawer, so I keep them separately. This is my hair extension drawer. I have some Bombay hair, Virgin hair, Fantasy, Foxy Locks, and um, Resistible Me. Just, just a bunch of hair. And there's a wig there from uh, Here He Goes. So just uh, hair extensions. In this drawer here, I have refills on some important things like um, I've got my Japanese um, brush cleaner, then I've got uh, eye makeup remover, Fix Plus, and uh, some sprays to keep my foundation in place. I've got some band aid, just extra gum, got some cotton rounds, tissue box, got some savlon, comes in really handy, some scissors, and eye makeup removing wipes I've got some baby wipes there as well these are my lip liners and eyeliner pencils I like to keep them in these glasses so I can see them better and just find them easier and here I've got some lip glosses and lipsticks there's uh, Lime Crime, MAC, Dose of Colors, OCC Lip Tars and on the other side I have some YSL, Lancome, then I've got some lip stains here by Tarte, NARS and uh, some Motives lipsticks as well. I don't like to keep lipsticks for too long, um, especially lip glosses because they do spoil so uh, what I do is I, um, if I overbuy then I just give them away or if I receive um, for review then I keep uh, the shades that suit me and then the rest I just give them away. And there's some more palettes in here. We've got the Motives Face Palette, the Smoky Palette by Coastal Scents, 88 Ultra Shimmer Palette by Coastal Scents. I've got Sasha Cosmetics Palette in the back there. And um, the side ones are just lip palettes. This one's uh, Artist of Makeup Palette. We've got the Fuego Palette and um, Metal Mania by Coastal Scents. Then we have uh, Artist of Makeup Blush Palette. And that's about it. Here I have the shadow switch, uh, this one's good, you know, if you want to use one brush for um, the full look then you can just clean the brush on that sponge and uh, it will be perfect. Here I've got some face brushes, just keep them in here, just a lot of them, they wouldn't fit with uh, the rest of my brushes so I kept them in here and I've got some eyeshadow brushes, eyeliner brushes, anything to do with the eyes, all sorts of brushes are in there. And this is my eyelash draw guys. I love false lashes even though I don't wear them every day. They just make every look um, gorgeous. My favorite ones are by Flutter Lashes and as you can see 80% of my lashes collection consists of Flutter Lashes. They're so soft and beautiful and there's many um, styles that are natural and some of them are very very dramatic and full. They even have the lower lashes as well. I also like um, velour lashes and esquito lashes, I have a few of them as well and some lina lashes, they're um, right here I just received them and I'm yet to try them out, we'll let you guys know on um, their quality I've got some She's Beauty 117 as well, those are good I don't have many of them but the ones I had they're really good and then I'm gonna show you the other draw of lashes so this is the first one this is the second row I've got some more filato lashes down there and more velour lashes some more esquito lashes and GQ lashes then I've got some shadow shields there Lily Galici lashes Eldora lashes town of lashes and um, house of lashes as well here I have some body products I've got my favorite Chanel chance um, cream I've got some Opal Monaco bronzers for the body. I've got some One Love Organics which are my favorite. They're natural. These are body oils and I've got some Tarte self-tanning lotion. Here I've got uh, some of my favorite perfumes. 
uh, when I'm on the go I just like to keep them in one place here I've got some small travel kit brushes and uh, this is part of my skincare products I've got some uh, YSL eye cream, Maracuja Sea Brightener by Tarte and my favorite favorite ever uh, One Love Organics um, products I've got uh, the Skin Savior, got a bunch of serums there and um, vitamin D spray I've got Opal Monaco toner in the back and uh, some Maracuja oil by Tarte here I've got some Moroccan oil for the hair and some essential oils and I've got more brushes, these are the Coastal Sense brushes here I have some um, hair brushes and heat protectant sprays a candle and this is my unit keep all my stuff in here that um, I use most of the time so I can see them properly you know here I've got all my brushes and um, I like to store them in this uh, glasses that I got from um, this um, store the other day and um, these are these here are my face brushes some of my face brushes and I use this for applying foundation and here I've got some more uh, brushes. These are angled brushes. And there's a fan brush in there. These are a Tarte foundation brushes. And one of them is um, airbrush foundation brush. The one at the, the, the little short one. Here I've got some concealer brushes. And um, these are foundation brushes. Here I've got some powder and fan brushes. Here I've got some highlighter brushes and um, some more foundation brushes on this side. Then I've got some angle brushes for the eyes and um, these are all my eyeliner brushes in here. Then I've got some fluffy crease brushes, these ones here and there's blending brushes in there there's another glass full of these because I wouldn't fit them in one these are some powder brushes and I've got some blush brushes in here these are some flat definer brushes for the lower lash line I've got uh, pencil brushes in here and these are all flat shader brushes for the lid there's plenty of those some smudger brushes in there and that's about it so this is my makeup collection video guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all really soon with another look please don't forget to suggest more looks bye guys God bless you see you soon